Hey everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Sorry I haven't been on here in a while. I've had a lot going on. We recently had a loss in our family and um, lots, of, lots of different things going on, but I feel like I'm back and I'm going to start trying to do a lot more craft tutorials for you. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super, super duper easy uh, memory pillows out of dad's shirts. I'm sure you've seen something like this before out of our loved one's shirt. He always wore these Western style shirts. Um, and so it's just a little memory pillow. The poem on here, this is a patch that I got on Etsy. I didn't do this. I ordered this on Etsy and I'll leave a link for that below. But it says, this is a shirt I used to wear whenever you hold it, know I am there. And then it says, love Uncle Wayne. And you can get these personalized and customized to whatever you want them to say. So I am just going to do a quick tutorial and show you how to make these super easy thanks to my Aunt Peggy. She gave me a good idea on how to use this, this snap area as the pillow opening. So let's get to it. All right, so you want to lay out your shirt first. I pressed it before I got started just so that we can make sure that everything is straight. And again, I'm using a 17 by 17 inch newspaper pattern that I cut out uh, because the pillow form is going to be 16 by 16 inches. So you want to go one inch larger than your pillow form uh, all the way around. And then you want to lay it out. I like the yoke of the shirt to be in there. That shows a little more character. And you just want to make sure that you're even. I just kind of eyeball it with the pockets. You can see that I'm about an inch and a half from this pocket. And that one's just a, a little bit less, so I'm just going to kind of do it like that. All right, so once you get it all laid out, of course, you want to pin it, and then we're going to cut it out. All right, so we have it all laid out, and I'm going to go ahead and pin it. And so, yes, we are cutting both the front and the back at one time, and um, we'll have to turn the back around uh, when we get to that part, but... I just want you to know that I do know that we are doing it like that. This is the lazy, the lazy, easy technique that I was talking about. When I first did this, I was so concerned about leaving an opening for the pillow. And like I said earlier, my aunt pointed out that the snaps work perfectly for the opening. You just unsnap it and pop in the pillow after you get it sewn up. So I'm going to speed up the, the video so you don't have to sit here while I'm doing each one of these. Take the pins out. And then what we're gonna do is, since we cut it that way, of course we have to turn um, the sides. Uh oh, that one came unsnapped. Make sure it's snapped up when you're sewing. And then we wanna pin it sew this going all the way around all of the corners or all of the sides. cut off the corners so that it isn't too puffy in the corners there 
And I also like to trim the edges a little bit. All right, so now we get to unsnap this and turn it out, poke out those corners. I just used a crochet hook for that. All right, so I'm gonna turn out these corners. So now I'm going to take this patch that I got off of Etsy and it's an iron-on. So I'm just going to put that right here and put it on with the, with the iron. Alright, so now we are ready to put the pillow form inside the pillow. Let me just make sure. You have a good view of that. And this is the cool part. You just open up the snaps and pop it in. I say pop it in. It takes me a minute to get it finagled in there. Kind of get it puffed out the way you want it. Easy peasy.